We've been doing a lot of grilling. Let's get back to smoking. Yeah, I figured it's about time we get back to smoking some meats, right? That's what I'm talking about. So, it happens to be that we just released our new Fogo Charcoal M Grill Series M1 here. This thing is a beast. It's a grill, it's a smoker. Works kind of as a reverse flow because the air comes in here, comes up around the food, and then out this here chimney. So, it's really cool. So today we're gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna smoke some beautiful ribs. We got some nice Duroc St. Louis ribs for us. So we're just gonna put a little seasoning on them. That's it, no wrap, no binder, no anything, just smoke. But while I got you here, don't forget, subscribe and like the video. We sure appreciate it. Yep, that's right. Like I said, we're gonna be using the Fogo M1 M grills here today. It's a combination grill, smoker, it's really cool. As you can see, it's got this little handle here that you can put your charcoals in the grate and you can crank this handle and lower and raise your charcoals as much as you want. Kind of like Santa Maria style grilling on a regular home grill. Woo, pretty cool. So you can use it as a grill, make burgers, you know, whatever you want to do here. But the good part is this can run off a of charcoal, it can run off a of wood, it could run off of both. We can load up our chamber down here with our charcoal and with our wood and this thing acts as a reverse flow smoker. Now, if you don't know what that means, it means that the air in the, the air is gonna come in here, hit the fire, and it's gonna catch that smoke. It's gonna go underneath, there's a baffle plate, it's gonna go underneath the baffle plate, it's gonna come up around it, and then the smoke comes directly across all the food so it can go out the chimney. We're gonna be using some wood today, we're gonna be using some charcoal today, we're gonna get this thing about 275 or so, and we're gonna make some awesome, awesome ribs here. I'm really excited about this grill because it can really do anything. Now, before we get the fire started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our ribs because we want that um, rub to set into those ribs and let it pull those, that flavor right down into the meat. So we'll let it sit out while we get the fire going. So it's really simple. We're gonna start just by taking them out of the package. Again, we're working with some St. Louis style Duroc ribs, which with, what that means is that if you've ever seen spare ribs, they're about yay big. These are just trimmed down, a lot more square in shape. So just a lot more even cooking. Uh, not a lot of thin spots. So we're gonna open these babies up. Let's see what we've got here. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that, gorgeous, nice. You can see they're even sized all the way down. Beautiful, look at the size of those bones. These things are awesome. Not a lot of fat. And the beautiful part of this is that the silver skin is already taken off the back, so we don't have to do that. A lot of ribs will come with a silver skin membrane on the back. You want to peel that off. The easiest way, you just take a paper towel, you raise a little corner, and you, you pull it. It's, it's really simple to do, but it's important. If you don't do that, you're gonna have a much tougher rib, and it doesn't allow the smoke to get into the meats and penetrate it, it just blocks it. So, if your ribs come with a membrane on the back, make sure to pull that off. These don't, now let's season these things. Now we do wanna clean them up. I'm gonna leave this fat here, but this is a little bit excess kind of jelly fat, so we're just gonna cut that off, okay? It's right down to the meat. We don't have to go crazy trimming it. We want to leave a little bit of fat there. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Our next step, just take a paper towel, whatever you have. Dry these babies off. You want to get them nice and dry for the rub application. We're going to keep it nice and simple with our rub. We're going with PS Seasonings Blue Ribbon Competition Style Rib Rub. The color is beautiful and the flavor is even better. Just give it a nice solid coating. Not giant amounts, you just want a nice solid coating. And remember, what you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So we flip them over and season the other side. Flavor all the way through. We're getting close now, folks. Let's load up some fire starters into our blazer ball, click this baby shut, and throw it down in the basket. And now the charcoal. We're using our super premium smoking chunks 
So place that blaze ball way down in the bottom there because we want all of that stuff to get lit. Now, let's light a fire. The ease of use of this thing is ridiculous. You just fill it up and slide this basket in. Fire's ready, it's loaded up with some wood, get some smoking going. A little pro tip for you, okay? You can see we put our wood on, we've got some white smoke coming out of here. You don't wanna put your food on while it's white smoke. Let it turn blue, it may even turn clear, that's fine. That's gonna penetrate it, it's gonna give it a nice smoke ring, you're still gonna get lots of flavor. But this white smoke will make it absolutely bitter. You don't want bitter ribs, you want good ribs. The smoker is right between 250 and 275, right where we want it. Time to put these ribs on that grill. Let's do this. One little trick I did, there's a thicker and a thinner end to the ribs. What I did is I put the thicker part, the thicker part, down at the far end where the smoke is coming through, up here. So I put the thicker end down here because that's the first spot that's gonna be hit with the heat. So that's gonna get the first blast, thicker part, Takes a little longer, makes sense, right? The smoker's smoking, the ribs are ribbing. Now, we're gonna let this thing set and we're gonna go about mm, two hours or so till we check on these things. Remember, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So we've been on here for about three, fifteen, fourteen, about, about two hours or so, two and a half hours. So we're gonna check them out. Now, the way to tell if ribs are done when you haven't wrapped them and you're not temping them, you kind of grab them like this. Oh, see that bend right there? And it's not tearing, okay? That's when you know you're getting there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a little bit of sauce on here. We have continued on with the, the same theory of uh, PS seasonings. We have their bourbon barrel whiskey barbecue sauce. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna sauce these babies up, give a little light coat. I'm not a big fan of giant saucy ribs. Get it on all the sides. You see this here, the, the pullback? That's what you're looking for. You know they're getting there too when, they, when the meat has pulled back and you can see the bones. I call them smiling at you. So let's go ahead and close this up. Let that go, like I said, for about another half hour or so. And that's what that should be plenty done by that time because I really got that nice bend to them. We like the way those ribs are bending. Two hours, almost 45 minutes. These babies are done. Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even want to touch this sauce on top. Look at that bend. I'd say that bend test is passed. What do you think? It's almost 90 degrees. Yeehaw. Those look awesome. So, like I said, we were about two hours, 45 minutes. It varied between about 275, close to 300 for a little while, but it worked out beautifully. So, if I really tried. Look at that, clean bone pull. Now, they're not fall off the bone. It took some real doing for me to get that out of there, but it was able to get it. So, let's see what we've got here. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I am laughing because these just look so good and I just wanna play rib Jenga. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, you think I can pull this one out? Oh, so close. Anyway, so I think that you saw, I pulled that one bone out of there really good. So everybody's gonna go, oh, falling off the bone isn't the way. Well, let's check this out and see what happens here. Perfect, clear, bite. Mm. <laughs> That's just awesome. Mm. Mm. Hint of smokiness. The beautiful ring that, that was the, between the rub and that sauce, that's fantastic. But I'm telling you, it, no wrap, okay? About two and a half to two and three quarter hours at 275 or so. Remember, the bend test is where it's at. You don't want, I know some people like their ribs falling off the bone. Cook them a little longer. Cook them how you like, all right? Don't listen to what other people say. If people say you shouldn't be this way or shouldn't be that way, do it how you like. That's the most important thing, okay? This is how I like them right here. It's right between them. <laughs> These came out perfect. I'm like so happy right now. Look at them. Color's gorgeous. All right. So listen, I won't, I could talk about these things all day, but I really want to get to eating. So like I always say, remember to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and hit ring that bell for notifications so that you don't miss anything we've got coming out. We've got all sorts of really different stuff coming to you um, right in the near future here. So remember, get out and grill.
right? Get out and grill, and we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.